All right, we got them disassembled, mostly. It's very easy. Um, two screws take off this, the cylinders. They take off the couplers. And then there was one additional screw somewhere, and then the boiler just comes off. Okay, so there he is on the track. Let's take a look at him again. Let's see how, how he goes. Let's uh, zoom in on him. Okay, that right there is 50% power. So he moves. Not that good, but he does move. He's a little loud. And backwards. I don't know. It seems to me like there's a lot of slipping. Something is slipping. And let's take a look at what we got here closely. Okay, as you can see, we got that old crappy oil in there. So, all the gears and stuff got to come out and go in the ultrasonic. All right. We're going to eliminate the Pittman. I think we're going to get an FK130 motor to put in here, which laid on its side, I think, will fit just, just right. I had to go find one here. And then, something, the, the gearbox here, if you can see if I press and hold, okay, something about the gearbox, it's not tight enough. And otherwise, we've got we got all wheel pickup as you can see, and the wheels look good. This thing looks really good. I'm I'm just guessing it was not run much. Um, so we'll take this stuff out and I'll get it into the ultrasonic, and that'll be that. And then taking the rest of this out should be pretty simple. There's a couple of screws to remove, and we'll look and see how the power is getting picked up. And then, once it's cleaned up, let's see what we can do about, see that, we don't want that. We want our, oh, and the motor just falls out. That's interesting. So the motor just falls out like that, huh? So it wasn't even locked down to anything, not a screw or nothing, no? That Pittman looks like, looks really good. It's a good looking Pittman. But it's not smooth enough for us. It's definitely not smooth enough for uh, for putting a decoder in here. But we do have, we got some room in the cab. And we got plenty of room inside the firebox that holds the, well, someone went ahead and did pile up a bunch of wood on here. So that's that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, let's get this let's get this into the cleaner, and then we can start doing a little reassembly on it. And that's where we're at right there. This assembly is really easy. Hoseeker.net does have 17 pages of documentation for this. Now, I noticed that some of the documentation is for a narrow gauge version, but in general, it's got it's got all the documentation. However, this thing is really simple, so there's not much to it. I only took out so far. I take out one. I took out two coupler screws, two screws for the cylinders, and one other screw that was right there, and the. Um, major pieces just came out and I don't know why but it sure did look like the motor although I'm guessing that this one screw here is supposed to both pick up power and hold this motor in place probably this top guy right here because there's a bracket where you could probably screw that down that's what keeps it from falling out and so that's where we're at let's get let's start get to the cleaning 